For all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started. A question that comes to my mind is I've heard this a few times from some militant uh, critics. They'll adamantly say that Neanderthals, they exhibit a different set of biodiversity when being compared to Homo sapiens. So what I've seen them say, Dr. Carter, is that when we characterize and quantify those differences, this ends up putting Neanderthals as a sister group as compared to the same species as Homo sapiens. So I guess in, in other words, what best explains the Neanderthals according to a biblical creation model? That's a very difficult question. And I have several different possible answers and I'm not satisfied with all of them. Um, I'm gonna say that uh, Neanderthals represent an early branch of man. And I think ancient man is different than modern man. The modern man is we actually descend from only a subset of the post flood population in general. Right. So um, Homo erectus, Neanderthal, Denisovans, those are, in fact, probably Neanderthal, I'm sorry, probably Homo erectus is Denisovans. One is a skeleton without a genome, and one's a genome without a skeleton. I'm assuming that they're the same, but I don't know that yet. Um, when you look at. Um, the hunter gatherers in southern africa when you look at the hunter gatherers in in modern hunter gatherers in southern africa or the ancient ones in other places in the world their genomes are different they're actually more diverse in some ways we've lost a lot of genes over time so that's one answer they're more genetically different because they're earlier but also they're in neanderthal specifically that's the most inbred population we've ever seen from mm -hmm. spain to siberia thousands of miles in extent they are shockingly inbred. Their homos, their um, runs of homozygosity are are really high, even though they're a lot different and they have a lot of different diversity than we do. These long stretches of identical letters in their genomes, meaning, you know, their dad married their sister, and things like that. But this is true population wide, and even though we can tell the difference between like a Croatian Neanderthal and a Russian Neanderthal and a Spanish Neanderthal, if you look at them together they are less different as two people from Iceland. Wow. They're really, really inbred. Plus the Neanderthals, they changed over time. The last Neanderthals are the classic Neanderthals. The earliest ones, they called them um, Homo heidelbergensis, who look a little more like modern man than Neanderthal does. So the end stage Neanderthal is a super inbred, on their way to extinction a group of people. Now, how they get so different? They might have started off different just because early man could have been more diverse. They could have picked up a lot of mutations over time. Maybe uh, inbred people just pick up lots of mutations. They could have been founded by a patriarch in his old age. And so therefore, you know, a whole bunch of mutations, boom, start off already with a whole bunch of mutations. Um, or that mutation rate could have been higher in the past or you know all these other ideas i don't know necessarily what the answer is but i'm comfortable saying they're human and i'm laughing at the fact that in the 1800s you know the thought that neanderthal was human was i mean you might as well you know i don't know it just heret it was it would be a scientifically heretical statement to suggest at all that neanderthal was human They've always been, you know, ape man, half man, half ape, stupid, brutish, blah, 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 blah. But the archaeology is telling us that they're highly intelligent. They're highly invented. They had a diverse diet. They exploited their environment, depending on where they were. They, they, I mean, they ate tuna fish. Mm. Tuna is an open water fish. That means Neanderthals had boats. And we know they had boats because they got to some of the islands in the Mediterranean. 
that have never been connected to the mainland. They probably painted in caves, they made musical instruments, they had music, they buried their dead ceremonially, on and on and on and on. They're human beings. And now genetically we find out that we interbred with them or they interbred with us. In fact, they're our ancestors. They're human. They're people. They're so, children of Adam. 